Hi, my name is Francine Marie Jennings, and I'm going to talk about mine over hands. Mine over hands mean if your gender don't align with your mind, then do the hormones. If you like someone like Charity is a woman and you want to be a woman, just be a woman. If you like Tom, like want to be, be like, a guy, you be a guy. Don't be a girl. You know, but when a trans person is like very trans and, and it is like it takes time for the hormones to look like work a little bit better, more feminine looking and more more of the stuff what the your body aligns with. So I guess of it mine over hands. But if you feel like you're a failure, where you fail everything we in your transition, just stop and think how many supports you have. You like you have your friends, your family, your 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 best friends, like you have your true friends who Come and check on you. You have your allies, like the pride association. And it's like that is what's to be in the general questions to, to do for transgender euphoria and stuff. Like you have your evergreen for counseling. That's good, you know. But, you know, a lot of people don't like to be mean to transgender people. and. Oh, I really don't like people who rude to trans people because that's not what I I got taught when I was a boy. I got taught to be polite to people. And like my friends, cer certain friends, I don't want to be near like Tom. I don't want to be near him because he's bad mouthing me as a trans person and putting me down. And it's like, that hurts really bad. You know, and he's like a bully because he's a construction worker. He's a bully, you know, and I feel like he should not be that bully, you know, because that's not, it's like if, say, you was to pick on someone is gay, you know, and you had a friend is gay, you don't, you shouldn't be picking on them and telling them, they not no good. That what Tom do? He she said, "Hey, I'm no good." That's not right for him to say that. I'm no good. Like and don't misgender me. And it's like I really get aggravated at people misgender me. And you know, and it's really, really, really upsetting when people misgender me so much. And it's like. I like people, but I really don't like people misgendering me. Because and I don't like to tell people off, but I do tell people off when I, I speak my mind, when I'm very cranky and in my moods. And, you know, I love charity so much. I really appreciate charity. I appreciate time, too, but... I'm sorry to get used to Tom words, but, you know, it's like I need him to understand I'm still human. I still love God because, but Genesis in the Bible, I look up as because it talks about the gender, you know, mind and body it talks about. In the Bible. And you know. That why people go to counselors. That why they make counselors for people. And you know. We uh, I do like to talk to Charity. Because she's a woman. And I'm a woman. And I would like to talk to people like that. And I wish I could talk to Laura too. Yeah I love Laura.
I want to meet her when I get off probation. I can go to Florida with charity and that. To go on a vacation to get out of Niagara Falls for a little while. And, you know, I will do that when I get off this February. I was seeing Jerry want to make it until February. <laughs> yeah. Because I would get out. I'll pay Elliot's way when I get on the YouTube partnership program. I would pay Elliot's way to Florida. Too, you know. And I really, really do love Elliot. And I really love Ann so much. And, you know, I'm sorry what I said earlier about, about stuff, you know, but. Please forgive me. I make stuff wrong sometimes. Overreact. You know, and please. Um, and then with Trainer Awareness Month and yesterday, please forgive people who is trans. Give them some time to be their self and make them happier. I'm more happier being trans than I ever was happy. You know, and I do like to dress beautiful sometimes, but sometimes I don't really want to do it because people is aggravating people, and I don't like people who really don't understand about transgender identity disorder. This is a tra is identity disorder when somebody is trans. My dad name was Frederick, and people just, like, keep calling me Frederick, and I don't like that. That was my dad name. Like, my birth name was Frederick. Now, my legal name yet last year was Francine Kenyon. Now, it's Francine Jennings. That's my new name. Because I didn't want to do it all at once when I got my name changed, because I didn't know how... People will react to my new name. I'm Francine Marie Jennings. And I'm going to tell you guys I love you who watches my videos. And please get new people to watch my videos. I'm a transgender activist in Niagara Falls, New York. And, you know, I really appreciate you guys who... Bro, we do love me on my channel. And, you know, I'm a caring person for Jazz because she showed me a lot of love to come out as trans. You know, and I made the right decision. Always wanted a vagina like a fairy come and put a vagina on me. Or my boobs bigger. Because I don't like how my boobs is now. See how big they got? You know, and they getting really bigger now. And, you know, I'm really appreciate how a little bit my boobs got a little bit bigger. Now I'm starting to have cuts a little bit. You know, it is, I'm happier a little bit. Rounding out more. Oh, and uh, and I really appreciate that. And if Tom, you listen, be more nicer to me. Like, be consider of yourself, because you not you don't have to speak up. You can set me to a side, like when you see me and say Francine or Freddie or Frederick. I will answer to Frederick, but I will answer to Francine more. I might be more considerate of you. If you say Francine, because, and if Ann, you listen, please start saying Francine. And, you know, I really, really do appreciate you guys for all you do for me on my channel, my YouTube channel. And I'm happy I can go live when I want, you know, and get more followers. And if you're a new follower, watching this feed, please come on my channel and comment and subscribe. Thumbs up if you want to subscribe. Thumbs down if you don't want to subscribe. But I'm a transgender activist in Niagara Falls, New York.
and Buffalo, I am mostly. Please subscribe to the channel. I love you guys. I love all my people who have subscribed, like my nurse from Heart Love and Soul. And, you know, and thank you for everybody who subscribed to my channel. And, you know, and, you know, please do more stuff for the trans community. And, you know, if you regular, like a straight person, want to do stuff, do that for yourself. Like, Charity is straight. Like, she likes men. I'll get like men. I mean, not men. I mean, I'll get likes women. I'm sorry, I'll get. I mean, you, I mess up. Tom, you like women. That's why I'm at. Tom and I'll get like women. Um... Butch like women. Cherry likes men too, because he she was married for a long time. She had kids and grandkids. Um, everybody who else is on the channel, like men or women, or woman and woman, you know, whoever is support of the channel, just be yourself. I say. You know, be yourself. And, you know, you could have good feelings. You can have bad feelings. You can have decent. You can have non-decent feelings. You know, but, you know, I appreciate people who ascribe to my channel. And, you know, and I really do love the trans community because, a lot of trans community people is getting murdered or killed. Murder is killed. Or abuse where they get beat up and then could die from it. And then, you know, the suicide rate for trans people is very high. Because if they don't get their meds, they, the suicide rate is high for them. And, you know, and that's not okay. Because if they're not going to get the right care, they don't have a right to be doing the hormones. I got the right care after a year and a half. You know, I got the right care. 2024, I got the right care. So, thank you. It's a long process being on HRT meds, but it's a good process. To not worry about people antagonizing trans or antagonizing gays or lesbians. You know, it's like you don't want to hurt somebody's feelings. And like if a handicapped person is not mentally stable, don't ever, ever, ever put them down. Don't ever call them names. And I've been trying to clean my house, but I've been depression really bad. And it's because of how people treat me. Like, like Jerry treats me good, but sometimes other people don't. Like, Ann, don't ever, like, when she says she's going to come over, she don't come over and makes me upset really bad. You know, and it's like... You say you're going to come here, and you never show. Like, I understand she gives me my shoes and stuff, and, you know, and check on me that way. But, you know, she makes Charity do everything, and it's not that good. Charity doing too much stuff. She needs a break, you know, because she's overwhelmed. And I don't like people get overwhelmed. I'm... That's why I caught her to listen to her point of view because sometimes she needs a counsel, counseling from me to talk to her to make her feel better about herself. You know, I really think she's an angel. And Alia do the same thing. What well, I do for Charity, love her so much. I really appreciate her so much, Charity. 
And I do appreciate Tom too, but sometimes Tom can be too too ball headed and too pushy. She he's pushy like my dad. You know, about stuff. And it's like aggravates me when people is too pushy. Charity never makes me down. But I was stressed out yesterday because my dad started with me. And it's like every time I have to do something for my house, I get so agitated with people. And then I don't want to do it after I get put down a lot, you know? It's like I knew he was going to be, Tom was going to be like that last night. Too pushy. And, you know, it's okay Charity is too pushy because I knew her longer in Tom. And I could trust Charity with stuff. You know, because Charity always did, really did love me for who I am. She said that the one day I was with her with Elliot. She loves me, and she cares for me. Tom never say that to me. He don't go, I love you. And I wish Tom say he loves me. And, you know, if Tom, you listen to this on Charity's phone, please start loving me more and say you love me like a brother. You know, and Elliot do that to me. He say he loves me. And I really appreciate Elliot so much. And Anna appreciate because... And say she loves me. And I always want to have been loved because when I was a kid, I never got that much love when I was a kid. My uncle was gay. My cousin is gay. I mean, trans is the same thing. But, you know, I love my family, but I don't love my dad and mom because they, and I miss. My brother so much, and I really, really, really do want to be closer to my brother. And, you know, I really do want more caring for people and more adjustment from Tom to be more nicer, more serious of me, of my family. Is like I always not, I always not say I'm feeling up to it. Like like to have time around, but sometimes I give time. I get close to time, and I want to get close to time, and then time. I can read him when he's coming to the door, how he looks, like like he looks like. Really scary, you know, and I really don't like that. Like, Cherry is not that scary. Cherry is like a mom, so I understand Cherry because she's a figure and she's not mad at me because I transition. Tom shows it on his body image. He's mad at me. Like, and if he tells me, hey, I'm not mad at you for transitioning. Maybe I will give him another chance for him to be more nicer. And, Tom, look up the suicide rate for somebody is transgender for depression. And if you always going to be in my life and be my friend, I won't do suicide, but I would just tell you what the suicide rate. I will show you one day when you come over. Or we go out to eat, and then I can show you the suicide rate, and I can say, Chair Tom, this is how much I know about the suicide rate. And you used to say, okay, I know about the suicide rate. I'm going to treat Francine more caring and more supportive of her. And, you know, and I don't like people who... Disown me. Yeah, you know, like like Tom, you disown me when you don't want to call me Francine. And that went and do the same thing, disowning me as as me. You know, and it's like I don't like people who do that to me. And I don't want 
I don't want to lose out yet. Like people told me at the Pride Center to disown you guys, but I'm not listening to that. You know, I'm giving you guys the ability of against their decision of the Pride and my caseworker want me to disown you. And you know, and Jerry, I don't want to do that because I don't feel like that's right in God's eyes. Like, it's not right for me to disown you, but, you know, it's really, you know, it's really, you know, not too much you could do if somebody want to disown you. You know, and I don't want to do that, disown you, and be upset at you guys. I could be upset at you all I want. But, you know, I don't want to disown you because you my best friend, Elliot, and Charity and Anne. You know, I don't want to disown you. I don't ever want to disown you. I want to disown my parents because it's going to be hard for me to disown my parents. But it's like I don't need uh, nobody who don't love me and say I love you. You know, Sherry used to say, I love you more often to me. Because, you know, she said that to, yesterday. She go, I love you. And I, and I was happy at that. I said, thank you. You know, I love her so much, Cherry. But I forgive Charity. I forgive Tom. I'm always a forgiving person. But then when I start getting in my ways, Tom said, forgive me for what I when I get upset, like get my in one of my moods, Tom said this be like, okay, she's in her moods. Um, I'm gonna let her let her think what she's gonna have to do, and you know, and you know, I'm not that mean a person, and I'm not ready to think what you guys could do for me. You know, like, I want more help. You know, like, I wish Cherry could come over here on a weekend and sit with me and I could clean my house. And what friends say, you know what? Let's give Ann, let's give Ann to, to give me money for more clean supplies. Because I... I could buy a big thing or, a clean, or her card for Sam's Club, and I could go to get clean supplies at Sam's Club, and then I could clean my house really good because I could buy a bunch of toilet paper. I could buy a bunch of stuff for the apartment to make the apartment look nicer. And I wanted to, because it's going to cost me over $300 to get a bunch of stuff for the apartment. And it's like, this is what I want to do for the house to make it nicer. And if somebody sit here and, and sit with me and say, okay, Francine, you have to clean one area at a time and you need to do that. And if somebody sit with me and I'm cleaning my house, like I had an aid to come in, but the aid was no good. The aid was coming in late and not showing up enough. And Charity is the person where she, she can make stuff happen. And 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 I know it's to be too hard on Charity, but, you know, it'd be, at least I have somebody to talk to, like a girl, you know, because then I can feel more comfortable with Charity. And, like, and then, like, my mom won't do this. My mom won't come over and sit with me and make me feel better about myself. And it's like, Cherry makes it really good for me when she, when she's with out yet. The one day she cut my hair, I felt I cleaned my house done, you know, because she pampered me. And, you know, and that was really good. She dyed my hair so good. And that, when I got a haircut the next week, I got the haircut because I wanted to look nice for charity and for Tom. And I really love Tom. I love charity. And I love 
people on my YouTube channel. And, you know, if you transition for the first time, take your meds day by day and time by time. You know, and it's like, take effort in your mental health. You know, don't be like blocking out people. Don't block people out. I was blocking out Tom so much, and I couldn't give him a better of the doubt because I was giving him doubt a lot. And he was trying to help me out, and I didn't want it from him. You know, and that's kind of like I probably was more su substitute to aggravation and stuff, and it was – I was too aggravated with people. And I'm more not aggravated with people no more. But I get aggravated at people who puts me down. Like Tom. Tom always maybe put me down. But, you know, and I I snap at him so much. That what a girl do is snaps. You know, girl snaps. And that's what I'm doing. Because I got too much estrogen. My estrogen level is 206. And then the last time I got my estrogen check at, at um, um, Planned Parenthood, it was over 300, my estrogen level. It's coming down. You know, it was 326, my estrogen level. So, you know, it's kind of high still. Supposed to be 200, the estrogen, normal estrogen level. That's not supposed to be stable. Now it's it's really high. But, you know, I'm going to try to bring it down. So I took my B12 today, my B complex for my transgender euphoria. And vitamin C I took. Now I need to take my the sun vitamin next. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon. And thank him. Anybody want to comment? They can. And then depression is really bad with trans people because they don't feel like in the right body. Now I say. My skin is very soft, you know. And that what I like about being trans.